We grow a wide variety of crops here in Helen's Bay, as well as buying in crops from other growers in Northern Ireland to make up uh, vegetable packs, which we then deliver uh, directly to people's houses on a weekly or fortnightly basis. We have this very personal relationship with our customers. We can discuss with people what it is that they really want. And what our customers want is the basics. Uh, we're, we're not into the frivolities, we're into wanting to feed people good, healthy food for their dinner every day. So first of all, we weigh three pounds a day. Um, and it's all done by hand. And check them over so they're all good potatoes going into the bag. Northern Ireland has a wonderful climate for, for growing most things. So you, you'll get, in the springtime, you'll get broccoli, and in the summertime, you'll get lettuce and courgettes and peas and beans. And in the autumn, you'll get just about everything, because that's the best time of the year for Northern Ireland and vegetables. There's not a thing you can't get in September. A parsnip and a small cabbage. Our, our primary aim is to grow vegetables that are local. The other primary aim is to also make sure that our vegetables are seasonal. We have polytunnels, which are essentially these plastic houses that um, protect the ground from, from rain. And we're able to grow quite a wide variety of winter salads. This is winter postaline, and it's a wonderful, wonderful lettuce. And uh, if you cut it carefully, like this, and leave that, it'll actually grow again and we get a second cut off it. Slugs can be a major problem, especially in the nursery, so it's really important for us to keep the slug populations down. And we don't use chemicals, what we use is frogs. <laughs> we have uh, to produce frogs, and lots of frogs, which love slugs, we actually keep this pond. Out of this pond, we would guess thousands of little baby frogs will hop out in the course of the summer. The frogs for us are a major plus. When I first started, the primary motivator for growing organically uh, or producing organically was for health reasons. Health of the people who would eat organic food because there was question marks over many of the chemicals that were being used, as well as health of the land because whether these chemicals were good for the land or not. And it's interesting how times change and move on. And it's not that those things aren't primary motivators, but a few more have been thrown in in the meantime. And the big ones, I think, today would be the whole question of global warming and carbon footprint. We have a major contribution to make by producing food sustainably, um, organically, and, and uh, because agriculture is a major polluter in terms of carbon, uh, organic agriculture can do an awful lot to reduce that.